it's like she definitely got in the car, thrown in a car or whatever, you know. You know my neighbors never, heard some yeah, screams. Uh, yeah, she, yeah, she was up there outside, you know, just across from us, and she heard some really weird screams before she, they heard us screaming for Summer. And that's, that still haunts her. She's still haunted by all that. And, uh, I think she might have been fighting somebody. Um, you, earlier you mentioned that uh, someone heard screams. Would you know where yes. the screams were heard in relation to the house from the neighbor? Like what direction? Well, we live on a hill. So you go down our driveway to Ben Hill Road one down on the bottom down there you, her, her driveway's right across from our driveway and it goes straight up the hill I mean if you can see the tree outline from the from the moon if you look straight down to the tree outline her house is just up below that tree line I don't know if you can see it no, it's too dark just below the moon that tree line her house, her house is up below them trees right there but so she was so up she, there and she heard these screams, her, her and her daughter heard these screams. So it makes sense that she but was somewhere, she was somewhere between your house and her house at that point. Yeah, down on Ben Hill Road, yes. Yeah. Okay. The scream that the neighbor heard? If she knew if it was a child or a Oh. Neighbor. She said it was a, a really weird scream, like... It, it, it still haunts her, I can't imagine, but it, it, I'd say, she, from what I understand, like maybe she, her mouth was covered and she was, and she probably couldn't breathe and she probably was able to get out a scream or something like that in, mm. in terror kind of scream. And so, yeah, that's horrible. Mm. She can scream loud. I mean, that little girl can scream. Mm. 